Hi everyone, today we will be talking about time for the last time. Um, so yay, we made it. So we have already talked about time to the hour, to the half hour, to the quarter hour, and today we're going to be talking about time um, to the five minutes. Like we're going to be talking about the five minute intervals. We have kind of talked about it, but today's math will um, be focused on that. Um, after that, we're also going to talk about AM and PM and what do those mean. So first. Let me get my clock. First, let's just review. This is the minute hand. The long hand is the minute hand and the short hand is the hour hand. Um, each one of these little dots, or I guess that's backwards. Each one of these little dots is equal to one minute and one minute is 60 seconds. So if there's one minute inside of, of each little line, we can see that there are five lines, five minutes in each, um, with each number that is on the clock. So if we count by fives, we can count five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. It's very important that you learn how to count by fives in order to be able to quickly read the clock. Um, so in today's math, all you're gonna have to do is um, look for your hour hand, and that will be your hour, which is the first number on a digital clock. And then you will count by fives to find the minute hand so now it's not going to be on 12 all the time which is o'clock zero minutes it's not always going to be on the six which is a half hour which is um 30 minutes and yesterday we talked about the quarter hours which was 45 and 50 minutes. Now we're going to use the whole entire clock and we have all of these little, each number will be by fives basically. Um, so now we just have to practice counting by fives. So if our hand is here, first step is to look for the number with the short hand. It is passing the five, so we know that it is five. And then we look for our minute hand, and it's over here on the two. Huh, let's pretend that we can't rem we don't have these numbers up here. We can't just say 10, so let's count by five, starting at the 12. Five, 10. So it is five with 10 minutes. And if we move it somewhere random over here, remember, it looks like it's touching the six, but it is not six o'clock until we reach six o'clock on the 12th. So if it's here, we know that it's still not six, it's still five. And so now we have to be able to count all the way over here. So we always start at 12. We cannot go backwards on the clock. The clock does not ever go backwards. You always have to start on one. So. If we're gonna count over here, yes, it's closer this way, but you have to count all the way around. So we start 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. It is 5, 50. And so on a digital clock, we would draw that like this. Five. 50. So I think as long as we can count by fives, we can figure that out. What if you cannot count by fives? Well, it'd be really, really hard, but you could count all of these little minute hands and get all the way around, but that would, that would be really hard to count all the way to 50. 
So we just need to practice counting by fives so that we can quickly just count all the way to the 50 and know what our minute hand is on. Um, so yeah, let's just do a couple examples and then we'll move on to AM, PM. So if we are here, first step is to look at the hour hand. You always look at the hour hand first. So it's between the six and the seven, so that means it's still six. And it, the minute hand is on the four. So let's count by fives four times. Five, 10, 15, 20. So what time is it now? It is, let me write it down. I forgot. Um, It is 6.20. So, basically, we don't have to memorize any new words, any new vocabulary. Now we're just skip counting by five. So hopefully that's not too difficult for everyone. But... One thing we're going to have to start thinking about is AM and PM. What do those mean? So the hours from midnight until noon are labeled AM. Those are your morning hours. So 1 AM, 2 AM, 3 AM, 4 AM, 5 AM. Um, usually people wake up in the morning and AM goes all the way up until 12 which is noon, which is around the time you should be eating your lunch probably. Um, the hours from noon, lunchtime, all the way until midnight um, is PM. So that's all the afternoon hours. I had, I had my little vocabulary cards, but I lost a couple of them. So PM are the hours from noon until midnight, and AM are the times from midnight until noon. So on a clock, it will not tell you if we're talking about AM or PM. The clock will just give you a time. So if it's seven o'clock, you won't know if it's the morning or the after, or if it's, you don't know if it's seven in the morning or seven in the afternoon, unless you are outside and you can look at the sun or it's a time where you eat your breakfast or your dinner. Um, you can only know that on a digital clock. On a digital clock, oh, I'm using my phone. On a digital clock, it will, um, Sometimes say a.m. or p.m. So for your homework, it will be giving you a time like this. Well, let's say a little bit later. So it'll give you a time like this. And you're going to look at it and you're going to go, hmm, it's 8 o'clock because the minute hand is on the zeros. It's 8 o'clock. And then you're going to read the sentence and the sentence will say, I went to school. So at eight o'clock, you went to school. Does that mean it's the morning or the night? The a.m. or the p.m.? So we know that we go to school in the morning. So it is, it is the, p, the a.m. because it's morning time. So you're gonna write eight, a.m. And how do we know? Well, we know because we know that we go to school in the morning time. And if it was 8 p.m., it would be almost bedtime. It's, after, it's really late at night, way too late to be going to school. So another example from your work, it will tell you... It is this time. Hmm. So we have to look at it. We look at the hour hand. 
The hour is between nine and eight, so we know it's still eight o'clock. Then we look at our minute hand and it's on the seven, which is 35. So it's 835, and then you get a picture of um, to a kid and a mom reading a book and they're in bed. So if it's 835, we can assume, we're just guessing that it is probably PM, right? Because when do, when do you get read a bedtime story? Usually people get read a bedtime story at night and at night is p.m. And you would write it like this. On your homework, it's gonna say, like, it's gonna have a.m. and p.m. and there's gonna be circles up here and you're gonna drag them and put them over the one that you want to choose. You have to pick one, so don't leave the a.m. and the p.m. both blank. Drag one of the circles down on top and tell me which one you think it is based on the problem. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy. So like there's an art class one. Do you go to art class in the daytime or in the nighttime? Probably the daytime, right? There's go to bed. That's probably p.m. Play after school. Hmm, so you have to think about these things. Eat breakfast, wash the dog, and go swimming. So you just have to use your best judgment, your best guess at what time you think most people will do these things. So I know some of you are having weird schedules because there's no school. So you might wash your dog at 2 in the morning, but usually you wouldn't do that, right? Usually you'd probably wash your dog at two in the afternoon, right? So just use your better judgment. Um, and that's all we have for time. Um, next week, we'll, we will be working on some completely different topics. So um, yay, we did it. Uh, make sure you go on ST Math. Right now it's working on time, I think. So try to get through those units and I will see you later. Bye.